Corey, the crowds down here in Belmar is not what I expected to see, and most people here are not wearing masks. Let me give you a look at what the beaches look like at this hour in Belmar. The Belmar mayor saying he knew the crowds here would come as soon as the weather warmed up, whether beaches were officially open or not. So he said the focus for his town has turned to social distancing. How can you keep people who are here spread apart? I think people that are that are, have been staying home are now ready to get out and when they want to come out they come down to the beach. So. Crowds are already flocking to Belmar laying in the hot sun or working out along the boardwalk next weekend for Memorial Day. Lifeguards will go on duty here, but they'll spread apart to maintain social distancing. Public bathrooms will be open, but masks will be required. Masks won't be needed on the beach, but they will be strongly encouraged. Police will patrol the beach. Belmar will break it up into four zones. They will limit capacity by counting beach badges in each zone and spreading beachgoers evenly across the zones. Anyone who doesn't comply will be cited and ejected. Belmar is also trying to get people to keep their distance up on the boardwalk. So what we did was when we opened up the boardwalk, we uh, took all the benches off so nobody can hang around the boardwalk. We don't allow bikes on, dogs on, skateboarders, and we put the barrels in the middle with arrows to try to keep the people walking north staying to the right. While things almost feel normal out here in Belmar, the reality is that northern New Jersey counties continue to suffer most from this virus. As of today, Hudson County has surpassed Bergen for the most cases of coronavirus, and Essex County is now ranked number one for deaths. Today, across New Jersey, we hit a morbid milestone. More than 10,000 residents have now died from COVID-19. 10,138 to be precise. Think about that for a moment. That is a staggering number.